Hi all, welcome back to System Vlog sessions. In the last video, I have given enough explanation about the program block. So in this session, uh, we are going to understand the examples for program block. Okay. If you remember, I have given one scenario for race condition between design and the test bench, right? So the scenario was if your uh, DUT is generating one response and your test bench is taking that response and performing some operation and if both processes are happening parallelly then it will lead to the race condition right when you are using module at that time if your DUT is generating one response and your TB is uh, using that response and it is performing some other operation so performing operation and generating response both happens at the same time then it will lead to the race condition race means we don't know whether DUT will execute first or test bench will execute first. So how, how it has to work? First DUT has to work because we are getting the response from the DUT and based on the response we are going to perform the operation, right? That means DUT has to uh, execute first. But since both are module, we don't know which module will execute first if both processes are happening parallelly. So it leads to the race condition. Now we will see here I have a test bench uh, using module. I will first show you uh, without program block. This is DUT. Okay, consider here I have an initial block. That means to make sure that processes are running parallelly, I have used initial block both side. Okay, so here out is equals to 5. I am assigning some value to the variable out. This is consider this as a response only. Okay, because DUT is assigning some value to the variable. Right? That means it is generating the value 5 to the variable out. And this is my test bench. In the test bench, what I have, I have, I have declared the variable out. And here I am instantiating the DUT and in the initial begin what I am doing if the out is equals to 5 if this out value is 5 then I am going to perform some operation here my operation is just displaying the statement my operation is simple just displaying the statement okay if the out value is not 5 then it has to execute this statement okay this is the operation so here if you see here here I have an initial block here also I have initial block we know that procedural blocks initial block will be executed parallelly if you have n number of initial blocks also it will execute parallelly at the zero simulation time so here I have no delay right so it will execute parallelly here it will lead to the race condition first I will run the code because we don't know which initial block will execute first if this initial block will execute first then we, we get the value 5 but here we don't know the uh, execution order right so we will see the output design assigned out is equals to x i am getting this false statement this l statement i am getting because out is out is not equals to 5 why i am getting like this because because of the execution order here this is executing first that's why out value it is taking default value this out variable is logic type so default value of logic is x right that's why i am getting x for the out so how we can provide the execution order then by using the program block this is the example for using the program block okay now what I'm doing whatever I have to do in the module I'm just doing it in the program block everything is same I'm declaring program and program this is the syntax okay how module and module is there. similarly program and program and this is the name and here I am passing the variable out okay input this is the input and if out is equal to 5 I am displaying this statement otherwise I am displaying this statement so it is same as module only right what I am performing in the module same thing I am performing in the program block and I am just instantiating the program block uh, handle in the top module tb underscore pro tb tb is the handle for the program block and I am passing the variable out and here DUT, inst uh, DUT instantiation so now I will execute what I am getting design assigned out is equals to 5 I am getting the if statement right this true statement I am getting how I am getting 5 now before that I was getting x now I am getting out 5 only so why because we know that module block will be executed in the active region right module block will be executed in the active region since we have used module both side and initial block it has so procedural blocks will be executed in the active region only both are module and we are using initial block both are happening parallelly and both are, uh, both are executed in the active region only so there is no order of execution so that's why we are getting the value x but now 
what is the case we are using program block we know that program block will be executed in the reactive region so in order to reach the reactive region first it has to come from the active region right it, it is in the same time unit only both are happening parallel see here initial block initial block it will be executed zero simulation time only but the thing is here in order to reach the reactive region that means in order to reach the program block it has to cross the active region that's why there is a order first the design will be executed then the test bench part will be executed that's why we are getting five this time okay and this is how we can avoid the race condition using the program block now we will see another example for program block here i have a module mod inside the module i am instantiating the program block and module has one task called mod task and the argument is string type i am displaying the string value in the display statement and this pro one is in, uh, defined here okay program pro one so inside the program block i am using initial block we know that initial and final procedures are allowed in the program block always block or udp or other instance other module instance or program instance cannot be instantiated in the program block this is one thing here inside the initial begin i'm using hash 10 means i'm waiting for 10 nanosecond after that i'm calling the module method and then i'm calling the program method this program also has one task called pro task and same string type argument i'm passing the string value whatever i pass that thing will be displayed here okay so how i am calling the module method we know that we cannot instantiate the module inside the program block but module can instantiate the program right so then how can i access the module um, variables or module methods to access the module methods we have to use the mod instance that means here we are referring to the top level module this is this is the only module here right that is nothing but top level module so when we are referring to the top level module we, we have to use the module name because top level module will be implicitly instantiated so the name of the module can be act as a instance of the module that's why when you are referring to the top module you can use the module name as a instance so mod dot mod task and pro one i'm passing and then this is how i'm calling the pro task then this is okay we know that program block cannot instantiate the module and program block also cannot instantiate another program blocks but it can access another program variables or methods then how it can access another program variables without instantiating it for that also we have to use the hierarchical path see here i have another program block okay in the initial begin i'm waiting for one nanosecond same i'm calling the module method by using the top level module handle mod dot mod task and i want to call the another program method this pro task i want to call in this program block how i'm calling i'm using the hierarchical path mod dot p1 dot pro task because p1 is instantiated in the top module right inside the mod p1 is instantiated that's why in order to provide the hierarchical path we have to use mod dot p1 dot pro task so if you directly call p1 dot pro task you will get the error because program block cannot allow to instantiate another program block okay if you want to access the other program variables or methods you have to give the hierarchical path and first i will run the code first i'm getting at time 1 i am in module at time 1 this statement is executing pro2 i'm passing into the module and there we have the method right the string type here this statement is executing so i am in module and pro2 and at the same time one and a second i am in program block this will be executed and after that it goes to the another program block because it is executing at the 10 nanosecond so at the 10 nanosecond pro1 will be executed this module method and program method both will be executed so have you observed anything here we know that here i have only instantiated first program block right that is pro one i have not instantiated this program block but still it is executing right because if you have multiple program block also it will be executed implicitly it means it will be executed automatically you don't have to instantiate it in the module block to execute it here why i am instantiating uh, only program block because i want to access the program method inside another program so for i need one handle right i need the hierarchical path that's why i'm, I'm instantiating in the module and i can access um, this p1 variables or methods in another program block by providing the hierarchical path so if you see here just i will comment it okay and here i will not call this now it will run because i don't want to call other program block 
and here I'm not instantiating other program other program block. See, it is executing right all program blocks. All program blocks will be executed automatically. You don't have to instantiate explicitly in the module. Okay, without uh, without instantiating it also, it will execute. So if you want to give the hierarchical path or um, instance when you want to access another program block methods or variables you 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 need a hierarchical path for that you have to instantiate it in the module then you can provide the path as like this okay this is one thing and about the simulation control system task that is dollar exit so when we call the dollar exit it will terminate the program block okay so where you are using dollar exit if you are using in this program block so and you are calling the dollar exit and when it is executed that program block will be terminated okay so here i will use dollar exit okay so after hash one this this statement will be executed after that this statement will be executed so when it reaches this dollar exit it has to terminate this program block that means it, it, it doesn't have to that means it should not execute this statement okay i will run the code inside the proto i am in module this method is executing and this method is not executing right because before executing this statement it has reached dollar exit so it is terminated the program block and we know that dollar exit will terminate the current program block so where you have executed it in this program block you have used it and in in this initial block you have used it so it will terminate this process when it is reached okay and you can see in the another program block as it is it is printed at time 10 i am in module i am in program block and one more thing is if you have called this dollar exit in another module outside the program block that means inside the module here if you call the dollar exit in a module then it will be ignored it will give you one warning and that call will be ignored this statement is also explained in the last video okay i'm getting all the statements right see warning i have got dollar exit call on module dollar exit call on module will be ignored so if you want to use the dollar exit you have you have to use it in the program block if if you try to use the dollar exit outside the program block that is in the module then that call will be ignored this is one thing and one more point is we if you want to assign the value to the program variables you have to use the blocking assignments okay you you, you can't use the non blocking assignments here i will use one variable logic 3 down to 0 a okay this is my variable and in the initial begin i will use a is equals to 5. First, I will use non blocking assignment. Okay. Some simulator will allow this non blocking assignment. See, the synopsis is supporting this. Just I will change the simulator. What I am getting? Program variable A can only be assigned using blocking assignments. Did you see right? We can't use non blocking assignments. Here I will use blocking assignments. Now it is executing. Some simulator will not allow, but some simulator will allow this. You can use both blocking and non blocking, but some simulator will not allow this not support this okay you have to use blocking assignments for program variables and this is all about program block